Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Adventures with the Todd Father featuring Harley, the adventure dog. She's excited to go. She got a little facial trim, so she's got a little less facial hair. So she looks a little different, almost unrecognizable at first, but there she is. Um, today we are gonna go check out a, a ghost town, or as it says there, historic town site of Rhyolite. Rhyolite is an old mining community that popped up in the early 1900s, and uh, it's just a ruin now, and it's kind of a cool place to check out. So if you come from Las Vegas, travel on 95, Highway 95 North to a town called Beatty, and then if you turn left on Highway 374, I should have wrote that down, I don't remember. 374 I think is what it is. Um, four miles and then about four miles is a you'll make a right hand turn which is where we are right here we're turning on this highway right here or road right here to go up to Rhyolite and it's just a it's little more than a mile up the road from here but it was a pretty active mining community for several years and then uh, of course the the mining ran out and it disappeared almost as fast as it came up so we'll run up the road and we'll check it out what do you think, Harley? All right, let's go check it out. Well, thanks. All right, one of the first things you come to is this uh, bottle house. It's called Tom Kelly's Bottle House, built in 1906. Built in 1906. It looks pretty cool. There's a under construction photo, so when it was first built. Um, they've since put this fence up. I know I've seen videos and other pictures where you could walk up to the house and walk up and check it out closer. But it, this is privately owned. So they've put the fence up, I'm sure, to keep people, unsavory people out like myself and Harley. Harley. Let's go walk around and check it out. Let's go this way. Let's go this way and check it out. No, no, not that way. I can't fit that way. Harley would make a good sled dog because she's pulling me like crazy right now. So this is kind of cool. I wonder if it's a model of the old town. I don't know. I'll have to go do some investigating and see. Kind of cool though. That's what it looks like is a model of the old town. Pretty cool, that'd be fun to go inside and check it out too. If you look to the north, you get a good perspective of the, the town's main street and some of the old buildings that are left. All right, so we're gonna start here and we're just gonna walk up the road and check out all the old buildings and stuff. Right here is the old foundation to the Miners Union Hall. 
pretty much gone. There's some more historic photos. Across the street over here is the uh, old school. Let's go check it out. All right, so I just walked across the street from the Miners Union Hall. There's an old structure here, but there's no plaque that says what this one was. So I'm not sure what that is. The plaque over there says this is the old school. So we'll go walk around it real quick. Okay, right here is the old Porter Brothers store. So this one is the Overbury building. Not a lot left of that one. We'll have some good columns standing up right there. So the Overbury building was one of the first general purpose buildings in Rhyolite and the largest stone building. As one of the more prominent commercial hubs in town, it was fully equipped with fireproof shutters, an automatic fire suppression system, and private bathrooms. So I'm kind of in the middle here, so just to give a perspective of the town itself, you can see up the road the old train depot. This was the bank. And then looking back down, the street so this paved road would have been the main street through town so let's go check out the bank building so now we're at the cook bank building and what's left of that that would have been quite the structure back in the day Okay, so this is the old train depot, and it's the most intact building. It is also privately owned, so they've fenced it off. I know at one time you could go walk up around it and stuff, but I'm sure over time with too much people in it, it's probably not very structurally sound as well, but it's a pretty cool building. From here, this is a perspective. Looking to the, I'm gonna call that south, southwest-ish a little bit. Harley, are you getting bored? Come on, let's walk around. Okay, so this, this train depot is part of the Tonopah 
Tidewater Railroad, which remember as we explored Zizix, the, the Tonopah Tidewater Water Railroad went through Zizix. And it comes up here, and this is a spur road off the main, off the main tracks, which would have, were out there to the west a few miles. Or excuse me, that's gonna be to the east, to the east a few miles. And they made a spur road out here um, to this train depot. All right, Harley wanted to be carried. Sometimes these rocks, this rockier terrain doesn't suit her very well. It's hard on her feet, so I'll carry her. So I believe the train route would have been right there along that road we drove out earlier. Come in right to here. I believe this is where the trains would park here. There's an old train cart right there. We'll go check that out in a minute. But this would be where the trains would come in. Here's another shot of the train depot. Now it does say right here that this is a the Las Vegas. I'm gonna zoom in. It says that this is the Las Vegas and Tonopah Railroad Depot. So I'm gonna have to look into it a little bit, but I'm pretty sure the Tonopah T Tidewater Railroad came up through here too, and that's just a spur road to it, or a spur track to this one. Okay, so right across from the train depot is an old train cart. So I know in the past, uh, at least from pictures I've seen and, and other videos of the area that I've seen, you used to be able to go in here, go in the train station and some of the other buildings, the bottle house. But I'm sure because of vandalism and structural integrity, you can't go in them anymore. This one's since been fenced off as well. But it's still cool to come and see. Okay, so looking here from the train depot, looking south across town, there's another little building way down there. We'll go check that out. And a little building right there. I don't see a plaque that tells us what that one is, but we'll go look at it real quick anyway. So this is Miner's Cabin. That's all it says is Miner's Cabin. All right, just down from Miner's Cabin a little bit is the Rhyolite Gel. Somebody tried to break out, squeeze through that little hole.
Good, how are you? Not nothing to see on this side. Just a wall. So, obviously cannot go in. It's welded closed. All right, so there's the gel. Right across from the gel is the red light district. So it's probably appropriate that jail is close to the red light district. Probably a lot of, a lot of craziness going on there. And then there's the miner's cabin again. Okay, even though there's not that much left of it, I wanted to show that they had a dance hall, the Adobe dance hall. So that's kind of cool. Not much left of it though. There's the train depot behind it, and there's the old bank building and the school, and the other buildings. And then back this way is the jail and the miner's cabin. Alright, just across from the train depot, there's one more building to check out. There is no plaque on it that says what it is. It's got some interesting Egyptian writing on it. So this has probably been serving the people of this area for several years. It's still active today, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I thought we better check that out too. All right, here we are back at the train depot. Thanks for joining us on this adventure, checking out Rhyolite. So until next time, we're gonna drive down the road and check out the open air museum and what's going on down there. And be sure and check out that video. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time on Adventures with the Todd Father. So here's another shot of the Home Depot, the Home Depot. <laughs> here's another shot of the Train Depot.